Wow. Okay, gets the wall bounce. Gonna try to keep up the combo. Gets the counter hit. Not gonna be able to burst and have simple wall of this damage. <laughs> I love how both of them slam down and is like, no, this is my stage now. Yes. <laughs> A little back and forth here. Yeah, for sure. Again, <laughs> these two have played insanely, uh, both in the online and offline space. So to see them here right now actually competing against each other, it's almost like a test of how much have you studied between those. But Irony and Jess gonna take the hit to avoid the command grab, and Grr, not having the breakaway option, has to be put into this corner. Yep, and we got a couple frame traps right here. Oh, whiffs. Oh, we're just keeping them grounded. And yes. Trazer. That's actually, that's actually something so cool, right? That Mixup's able to do is actually keep a Leo grounded and forcing to block. Nice backdash, though. It's gonna force out that burst and actually get the side switch. But Mega Fist going ahead and stopping that pressure. Uh, Rebel, I love his. Oh, he's still not letting you jump in. Um, his charges. Oh, yeah, here we go. That should be game. Really nice hit confirmed there from Fernanoni oh, into the fatal blow. Let me let me rip the throw out. Let me just, <laughs> let me just like get the throw. <laughs> Again, this is a character that really depends on that blunt rage meter uh, to get go ahead and get those uh, crucial rages against Geo. But it looks like Flash Kick has no problem already pushing uh, M Fahim in the corner here with that fast RC forcing the burst. Really, really well played. Good defense when needed to use that purple RC to get in and was able to avoid some of those attacks. Goes for the charge dust here right now. We got those combos. Does drop it towards the end, but still does enough damage. Gonna get the trade here. What is that? <laughs> That's boxing down. Yeah. Why is it? Are these on the fly? These are just happening? So, okay, so a little bit of explanation about that move. It is just because the active frames off of the meter is really good. But that's going to be a punish with the forward two from Aztec. Nice grab, trying to push Akon into that corner. Goes for the beach balls. Wall break. And Zawa coming back from that first round to take that first game. <laughs> You know, I really want to point out, and this is this is this is literally just trying to explain the insanity of May, right? right. The damage. Did did Oxus did Oxus forget to put combo scaling on her moves? I think it did. I think they did. <laughs> oh, oh yeah! Oh, armor break. That was so sick. Woo! And there you go. Deli Rebel clutching it out here, going up 2-0 over Vernon Oni. Put her in a bag again. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what we were talking about. Yeah. You cannot say you're out of the game just yet. Starts off with those kicks there, gets the counter hip off of the anti-air. Tries to dash up. I like that there's a little bit of dashing because usually you're trying to OS that Giovanna is trying to throw you after those dashes. And GTFO is really trying to like say, hey, I'm going to condition you to block first before doing that. Against Waffles, playing Faust, who got some significant buffs this time around. Absolutely, it almost makes his RNG way more better than it was before when he initially launched. But we're going to see Waffles um, definitely get a good head start, actually creating some good momentum right now and really good defense. Oh, goes for the super on the reversal, able to actually catch his GS toes. Oh, the face is so great. I love those animations for all the characters. They did a great job with that. That is indeed one of the things that uh, stood out for me uh, when it came to Prototype is literally baiting some of those PRCs and getting um, the wall carry. Um, and okay, forces a burst off of Wavy Boys. Has to be a little bit careful. Nice purple RC. Okay, double jumps to avoid it. Beautiful. Actually made the comeback. This is legitimately what... King Gambler, patience and clutchness comes down to. Like, look at him. He's just focused 
and just like breathing. He knows this character can make the comeback factor. And that's the big thing, right, with MK11 is that there are these characters that have that comeback factor. And Sub Zero's Fatal Blow is one of them. So here we go. We're going to go into set point right now for King Gambler Costner, having to be able to win this if he wants to stay alive. Gets the throw, whipped into the down to crushing blow. Oh my goodness. King Gambler.